The wandering hordes are quite large, by the way. They are large and in charge. Well, actually, they're large. I'm in charge. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hunt Train Let's Play. Last video. Well, if you guys didn't see last video, you really want to go check it out. Um, you're going to see something you don't see often. You're going to see me die two times. All right, check out my wellness, huh? So I went to the top of this um, construction yard. I, I still don't know what this is called. I recorded these back to back, guys. So if you told me what the name of this, uh, what the name of the structure is, I apologize, but I did not see it because I have not put up that video yet. Um, I don't normally record my videos back to back, but man, I want to get my freaking bag back. I want some revenge. I want some bloody, bloody revenge. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to go up there and get some bloody, bloody revenge. And then when we're done with that, we're going to go work on our horde basing to start getting ready for day seven. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you are new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So one thing we need to do first is chop... Actually, I was going to chop down some trees for some frames, but... What do you know? We got some frames over here, so that is good. We can actually pick up these frames and then get back to the top of that building. Man, okay, so I watched the video back, and that was all on me, man. That was all on me. I, I shouldn't have died. I definitely should not have died. Um, I was just, you know, careless. Uh, hold on. One, two, three, four. Middle. One, two, three, four. Okay. I just want to make sure I know where the middle is so when I come back here, I don't have to be doing any stupid counting. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, it was my own fault, man. It was my own stupid, stupid fault. Uh, you know, I just, uh, basically, with these sleepers now, what you need to do is you need to clear an area, kill everything in the area, clear the area, okay? Once the area is clear, then loot. Do not loot until the area is not clear. That last, um, that last kill that they got on me was completely 100% my fault, man, um... You know, I, I went to loot before the area was clear. There was a sleeper on... I watched the video back. There was What happened was there was a sleeper on the other side of the wall. And that's the one that got me. So, you know, eh, what are you going to do? You live and learn, man. Like I always say, you have to respect this game. If you don't respect this game, you're going to have some difficulty issues. Now, I didn't think about it, but I'm hoping that no other sleepers have spawned in here. Um, because the whole day has gone through. So, um, I think sleepers spawn pretty quickly. So, I'm kind of surprised there's none here. Uh, if, if I have to fight all these sleepers to get back up here, it's going to be rough. I'm going to have to make a whole n another set of gear. Um, oh, by the way, speaking of gear, I did make um, animal hide leg armor and animal hide boots. So, back to what I was saying. you got to respect the difficulty. If you don't respect the difficulty, you're going to have a bad time. Okay? Every single time. I, I don't respect the difficulty of this game. I pay for it. Every single time. And that is a good quality game right there. Um, so, I'm quite happy about that. Um, it's going to teach me a new way to play the game, that's all. I'm just going to have to make sure that I um, everything's clear before I loot. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. Okay. When I came through there last time, when I didn't show you, the rest of that thing collapsed. All right. eh, we should probably open this. Why not? <laughs> Might as well open this. This is what's important, right? Um, okay. Nothing. Very good. Very good. All right. So we just walk out along here. Okay, come on over here. We've already got our stuff set up. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get my bag before anything attacks. Because I don't have any weapons on me. All right, I think I died right there. So let's uh, let's do this. Honestly, if you do this with the um, with the blocks, it's, you're going to be okay, I think. Well, you know what? I thought that last time. And not so much. All right, let's. I got. I'm gonna have to stop talking here, guys, because I'm gonna start really being careful. Shit! They're all respawning. feel good. This is hurting my stomach. I'm so tense right now. Uh, is there any other gear I can wear? Um, let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to scrap a couple of these. We're going to make a 
chest. I'm taking my time this time, guys. Okay. Once I stopped taking my time, that was the beginning of the end. Oh, I had wood. I didn't have to actually scrap that stuff. Okay. Is there one thing? Yeah, I'll leave that on there just in case. Okay, all right. So there will be sleepers sometimes that spawn right here. I don't want to go out there because I'm afraid it's going to collapse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. Now, I know this is a spot where there's no sleepers. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the chest right here. Oh, man. I This is freaking tense for me, man. And this is what, you know, we've been missing this. We have been missing this tenseness. Maybe you guys still aren't having it. I mean, I'm not... You know the world's best player so maybe you know it's still easy for you guys but this is not easy for me this is uh this is real deal man this is real deal i love it i love it i'm having a good time with it all right so i'm just gonna put everything over here i don't need so we could just loot and um I'll put some arrows over here in case we die you know no point in carrying everything on us that's another thing i gotta stop carrying everything on me you know uh, in my mind, I'm never gonna die, so I might as well just carry everything, right? That's stupid. <laughs> That's just plain. There's no other word for it. That's just stupid. All right, so we're gonna bring this over here. Bring this over here. Come back up here. Okay. All right, that's a feral, right? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Man, she's pissed. It's like a possible hit there. Are ferals the ones that heal? I don't think they are. I think the irradiated ones heal, right? All right, well, she's gone, so... Oh, he heard that. Okay, not a feral. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Can they actually get up here? Can't tell. Die already! Come on. Damn it, die. Oh, I hate this bullet sponge crap. Gotta get some better weapons. Why am I not hitting him? Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, for real. Oh, no, I'm not looting him. I'm not looting him. I refuse. I could loot him. I know I'm safe, but I'm not going to loot him just on principle. Just to stay where I'm supposed to be, you know, as far as all this goes. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is, so they maybe stop going over there. We'll just pick this stuff up. That's a son of a bitch that killed me, by the way. You know, I could probably clear out up top and then go down below. Go. Anybody else up here? Maybe. Oh, there's a mine right there. I'm not blowing up that mine because I'm afraid it's going to blow up all the boxes. All right, let's do some looting, guys. Oh, boy. Now I got to kill everything up here and try and get out of here in one piece. Man. Was there something else down there I think I heard? Yep. Okay, but they're down there. Can they get up here? 
I don't think they can. But I don't know for sure. We should probably kill them first. Let's kill them all first. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm not screwing around with these jerks. Oh, what are you doing, bro? There you go. Right in the head. Okay, I can't get him there. Got you now. Got you now, you feral piece of crap. Damn it. There you go. Oh. Come on. Come on, you. Oh, God. All right, so is that everybody? I don't know, and I don't want to go down there until I know. I might be being overcautious at this point, but you know what? I died twice last video. <laughs> so I think I could be a little overcautious now. They can't get up here. That's for damn sure. But in there, is there any more sleepers in there? I can't tell. The ferals are what's got me worried now. Like, I can fight regular zombies, but if they're running, that's making me a little nervous because I don't have a good melee weapon. Alright, so I think that's everybody. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick this stuff up, and we're going to get down there, make sure everything's cleared out, loot all the bodies, and uh, see where we are, and then we'll come up and loot the stuff upstairs. Man, do you guys like me being this this uh, this um, patient this uh, careful or do you think this is a little boring I don't know I mean it's smart and you know I'm probably gonna do it anyway because I don't want to die but you know I'm just kind of curious huh okay let's come over here there's one more corner I want to check okay and it looks like we are good. Let's loot up. Now, if there's if we get another sleeper here, I'm going to call BS. That was a, That's a spawn. But I don't think we're going to get one. Shouldn't I have two bags up here? No, I looted the other bag. That's right. So, okay, let's loot them up, people. Okay, we got some military fiber. Alrighty. What do you got? Nothing. Do the ferals drop anything interesting? They The ferals should definitely drop, like, good stuff, man. Yeah, I don't look like anything that's dropping anything. That's a bummer. That is a damn shame. Alright, well, the loot's upstairs, so. Okay, so let's get on up there. Right here, and here, and here. And avoid that mine. And let's start looting, people. We've earned this one. We have earned this one. KJ48 has got his revenge. Okay, don't care about that. What do we got here? What do you got? Come on. Uh, working stiffs. Okay, that's a big pile of nothing. Well, guys, this, um, this, this, uh, whatever you want to call it, base, tower, whatever, might have been more fun than Crack a Book. Yeah, that is the pharmacy, by the way. It might have been fun, more fun than Crack a Book, but the loot here is nowhere near as good. There's just not enough stuff, um, to make the loot good. Although that paintbrush is pretty nice. Alright, take that out, let that fall. Um, that's an actually working cement mixer. Okay, nothing. Nothing. We already emptied that. What you got for me? Nothing. Alright. Got one more spot to check here before we get out of here. And I'm just going to leave that mine alone. There's no reason to mess with it. No reason to mess with it. I'm going to leave these corpses. Well, honestly, I should probably take the corpses. You know what? Let me let me loot down let me loot down here first, and then I'll come up and get the corpses in between uh, cuts. Cause I don't want to chop these up on video. It's just boring. Now, is this a trap? This, my friends, looks like a big, fat, stinking trap. What do you want? What do you think? If I stand on this, is everything gonna fall? Yep. Ooh, thank god it was just a regular zombie in here. Oh, he's not a regular zombie. Wait, is he a regular zombie? I can't tell. I think he's a regular zombie. 
Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and heal and let's get our water. We don't have any. Oh, here's some water. Good. I was like, man, we don't have any water. Crap. Well, there's some stuff down here, so that's good. Really? Why is everything empty? No, that's not empty. Meh. Pretty, pretty lackluster down here, but that is okay. Um, my leg is hurt. Do I have what I need to fix it? I do not, but I might have some stuff upstairs that I could use to fix it. So that is fine. I don't know what you're supposed to do down there if you don't, um, if you don't have any, like, way to nerd pull your way out. Um, yeah. I don't know what you're supposed to, you're supposed to do down there. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that. At least we're starting to get some food. Oh, God! I didn't... Damn it. All right, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to ner nerd pull right in the middle. <laughs> and we're going to grab everything from here from safety. I should have known this was going to fall, by the way. It was pretty obvious. My bad. All right. Okay. Uh, so, is this the only way to get out? Or... I guess so. It sucks I have to leave a lot of frames down here. But... Yeah, what are you going to do? Alright, guys. I think uh, I'm going to collect everything, head home. Let me, uh... Let me go ahead, first things first, and deal with my... My hurt leg. Oh, I could probably break through this and grab that. But, you know, those munitions crates. Eh, I don't really care that much. Uh, do, 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 there we go. And a splint. Whoa. Oh, that's right. You need duct tape for it. I forgot. Uh, oh, there we go. Man, what a miserable day out. Look at this. This is some nasty, nasty weather. Woo! All right, guys. I went ahead and got back to base. I uh, took care of everything I wanted to over there. Basically just drop stuff off, grab some building material. And we are going to get building. What we're going to do today is we're going to solidify Tower 1 of the Horde base. Now, do you guys have any naming conventions for the Horde base? Now, uh, granted, I have not seen the comments for the last two videos, okay? I made the last, I made this video and last video um, back to back. And the video before that just went up today, so I do not see your comments. So if you gave me any ideas for what to name the uh, base defense, that's cool. Basically... The base defense I'm talking about that I want you guys to help me name is five small towers with a big tower in the middle. Uh, the five towers are going to be all be on the corners. Um, so, what do you think? What do you think? As of right now, I'm just calling them uh, Horde Tower 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. <laughs> or Horde Tower 1, 2, 3, 4, and Main. Something like that. I'm not really sure. But uh, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. I was going to call them five points, but then someone helpfully pointed out to me that um if there's a tower in the middle it's not really a point so makes sense so i can't be doing that okay now that we got our log spikes now maybe we can begin <laughs> oh the the magic of pausing the video you guys are so lucky <laughs> all right let's go ahead and put these spikes down two layers of spikes um one layer of, uh, of barbed wire should be plenty i've died twice so unfortunately my my, what do you call it? My game stage is going to be a little bit lower than I'd like it to be. But, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I'll try not to die that much. I mean, you know, I, mean, I went to a new area. Uh, I, that, I still think that construction zone... I still think that construction zone is freaking amazingly designed. The claustrophobic feel and the, and the fact that you can't back up and, like, kite the zombies is inspired. It really is. Such a... Really, really good base. Really, really good base design. I, I really like it a lot. I thought they, I think they did a fantastic job. It might be, it not might might be. It's probably the most challenging point of interest I've done so far. Right, do that. There we go. Upgrade these suckers. Do I have my hoe with me? Too bad. When you uh, break up the grass with the hoe, you get like five freaking uh you get five uh plant fibers instead of like two it's pretty cool I, I you don't really need plant fibers that much anymore unfortunately um <laughs> you know we've needed plant fibers for stuff like spam crafting and the fun pimps in their infinite uh ability to troll us with their trolly ways <laughs> they basically uh took out spam crafting now we don't need the the grass as much and then they they make the hoe you know give us five times more, uh two and a half times more grass pretty amazing Pretty amazing troll pimps, am I right? <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. 
All right, so let's do this. And the um, the new rotation system makes it really, really a lot easier to put down these uh, uh, to put down this barbed wire, which I'm really, really happy about. How many times can I say really, really? I don't know. A few more probably. Anyway, so um, I really <laughs> I didn't mean to do it that time. Uh, I I think it's awesome. All right. So you can see how easy it is compared to the way it used to be. So how is this base going to stand up? Well, guys, come on. Place it right. Not that this stuff is wasted. It doesn't really matter. It'll um it'll slow down the zombies. But oh, fuck's sake. Oops, sorry. Damn it. Darn it. For fudge's sake, darn it to heck. How about that? Hey, you guys like that? That's some class A cursing right there let me tell you all right take your time cage take your time aim for the tip of the spike just the tip jesus this is supposed to be like a, uh, this is not supposed to be like r-rated okay cage just stop just stop there we go okay all right good good one row of spikes is so much easier because you can just put it right up against the uh against the wall but two rows is better than one. And we're going to do now is we're going to, just for the rest of the day, we're going to start building the main part of this base. All right? But before we do that, we're going to put these poles down. These poles add absolutely nothing. Um, I just like the way they make the base, the, the setup look. Like, doesn't that look awesome? I'm sorry, but I really think that looks cool. I might even put some barbed wire on the bottom too, just for the, just for the lulls. Nah, I don't, I don't have a lot. Never mind. I don't know. Maybe putting the barbed wire on the bottom does help a little bit, but I tend not. I tend not to. See, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the main tower. I really want to get the main tower done sooner rather than later. And the reason I want to get the main tower done is because... This is where I'm gonna. Move. This is where I'm gonna be living. This is my actual. Give me my living quarters. All right. This is where I'm gonna bring the. Um, I'm going to bring the forges over here and everything. All right. So, that's why I want to get this done so I can start moving out here properly. One, two, three. Oh boy, guys! I just just got done figuring out exactly how this thing's gonna work. Running out of time here, and here comes a wandering horde. So look at this. Time to crack some skulls. The big hordes too. The wandering hordes are quite large, by the way. They are large and in charge. Well, actually, they're large. I'm in charge. I could probably go up in my tower if I can get up there and just let them crash and burn on that. Oh boy. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's a pretty big horde. Let's do that. All right, we're gonna let them crash and burn on this tower. I'm gonna nerd pull up here pretty easily. There you go, guys. All right, let's check out the let's check out the uh, the horde base a little bit early, huh? Come on, guys, over here, everybody. Oh, look at those guys; they're just running by. All right, so they're getting smoked. They are getting absolutely smoked on the barbed wire. A little hard to hit there. There we go. There we go. Nope. Stop hitting my barbed wire, dicks. Oh, we got to take out Big Mama. Big Mama. Big Bertha. Oh, come on. There she goes. Okay. I'd rather deal with the repairs here than have to deal with the horde. You know what I mean? There she goes. Ooh, level 19, guys. We're getting close to 20. You know what 20 means? Electricity. We can get those fences again. I'm actually getting a lot closer to level 20 than I thought I was going to before uh, before Horde Night. I'm not going to do electricity on Horde Night, though. I want to uh, finish these guys and show you what I was doing with my base over there. I, I know it looks like a big pile of crap, but I finally got it the way I want it. Or at least I got it outlined. There we go. Sorry if this is a little dark. I gotta get the mining helmet. I believe I can make the mining helmet. I think what we're gonna have to do is, I think tomorrow we're gonna have to head out to the uh, to the trader and use their workbench because I believe I can make the mining helmet now. 
Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, if I don't have all that stuff, I can get it pretty pretty easily. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to the um, we're gonna go to the trader tomorrow for sure. Alright guys, so the horde base is looking good. Horde base is looking bad ass. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Alright, let's grab this. Alright, so this is what I'm doing here, guys. Alright? Check it out. This is the base. The inside is what matters. This these blocks right here, one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna break those out off camera. They were a mistake. The same thing over here, these were a mistake. You. So those were mistakes, so I'm going to break those out. And if you look right here, this is the corner, the proper corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks away from that corner. And I think it's about six away from this corner. That's the corner right there proper. One corner, that, that's a corner, that's a corner, that's a corner. So this is four, five, six. So it's seven on one side, six on the other. That can't be, uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Because remember, this was not an even, this is an even number street, so there's no middle. That's why I don't like even numbers. But um, we got it done. It's going to be seven on the inside. It was going to be nine on the inside. But after looking at it, I was like, no way, man. That's way, way bigger than we would ever need. Um, seven on the inside is perfect. And that is going to be the middle tower in our horde base. Okay. So tomorrow we will go to the trader. We will make ourselves a mining helmet. And I don't know other than that. I don't know what else we're going to do besides that. I guess we'll continue working on the middle tower. There's no reason not to. Uh, we'll, we'll repair this tower. Replace the barbed wire. Is looting zombies even worth it anymore? I mean, yeah. I'm going to go home. All right. So, yeah. What we'll do is we will uh, we'll go to the trader. Get our mining helmet. Maybe, maybe pick up any other interesting things there. And at that point, we will come home and continue working on the middle tower until time for Horde Night. So, sounds like a plan, right? All right, guys. I will see you next time. Till then, take it easy.